Hey everybody, in today's video we are going to be looking at an airplane model, learn about the airline and the aircraft. You guys must have seen her in the past recently both in the video and the post and it's none other than the Air New Zealand 787-9. So if you guys are interested, let's get to it. So this is a 1 to 400 scale diecast model of the Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner in the Air New Zealand livery. I wanted an Air New Zealand model for a long time now because I flew with them as a passenger back in 2019 from Singapore to Christchurch, New Zealand for my training. So yeah, here she is. I even remember the registration, it was ZK and ZK or Zulu Kilo, November Zulu Kilo. This one is registered as ZK NZC or November Zulu Charlie. Air New Zealand was a launch customer of the Dash 9 variant of the 787, which is the higher capacity and the longer range variant of the 787-8. What does a launch customer mean, you may ask? It means that they were the first airline to have the first production aircraft of the, of the type delivered to them. Now let's talk about the airline. Air New Zealand is the national flag carrier of New Zealand and is based in Auckland. The IATA code is NZ, IKO code is ANZ and the company's ATC transmission call sign is New Zealand. Let's talk about the aircraft. This specific aircraft flew in 2013 and is the world's first ever Boeing 787-9. It rolled out of Everett Painfield, the United States, bearing the registration N789EX and has performed many demonstration flights around the world. The aircraft was painted in the Air New Zealand colors and was flown down to Auckland in 2015 and delivered to Air New Zealand where she continues to fly as of this day. So let's have a look at the model in detail. Let's start from the nose on the port side. We have the flight deck cockpit windows up front for the pilots. Moving back we can see the Star Alliance logo. Air New Zealand is a member of Star Alliance since 1999, the world's largest alliance group. Below that you can see the various probes. The left angle of attack probe at the top and the total air temperature probe in the middle, the left pitot probe in the bottom. Here we have the L1 door for the business and premium economy passengers to board. On top we have the Air New Zealand titles, below that are the passenger windows which can be, tin uh, which can be tinted electronically and is exclusive to the 787. We have the business class, a partition and premium economy. Here we have the L2 door where the economy passengers board and from where the economy class commences from. Below that we have the static ports, the positive pressure relief valves and below the L2 door the negative pressure relief valves and the wing light. Moving back we have the economy class and here we have the left wing. Selected seats have foldable under thigh supports to provide additional comfort and is present on Air New Zealand's economy sky couch class. All the seats are equipped with a 9 inch touch screen for passenger entertainment on the longer sectors. The cabin follows a similar black and white theme on the inside as well. Near the route, near the leading edge, we have the housing for the landing lights and the runway turn off lights. The inboard leading edge slats and the Kruger flap near the pylon. The engine housing, the outboard leading edge slats and followed by the signature 787 raked wingtips for added efficiency and performance. The red navigation light and the strobe light. Behind we have the left aileron with lightning discharge wicks on the trailing edge which are not present on the model. The fuel jettison discharge nozzle, the outboard trailing edge flap and the flap rod in the middle and the inboard trailing edge flap. Here we have the flap track fairing. On top of the wing we have the speed brakes and the nose step marking. The wings also hold the fuel tanks inside them. We have the engine here. Air New Zealand operates their 787s with the Rolls-Royce Trend 1000 turbofan engines and we can see the Rolls-Royce logo here. We have the pylon, the engine itself, the fan blades and spinner, the nasal strake or vortex generator and the chevron nozzle for noise reduction. Here we have the main landing gear under the wing which has a four wheel undercarriage setup. In total, the 787 family has 10 wheels, 2 at the nose and 8 split as a 4x2 combination for the main undercarriage. They are supported near the root of the wing. We have the L3 door, the aft fuselage is painted with the signature Air New Zealand theme logo which I will come back to in a bit. We have the L4 door and just below we have the left rear cargo door with a control panel and a light which is used by the belt loader for passenger bags. Behind the logo, we have the aircraft registration ZK or Zulu Kilo, the IKO registration code for New Zealand. 
NZ or November Zulu, Air New Zealand's code designator for its 787 fleet, and Charlie C for this specific aircraft. Here we have the trimmable horizontal stabilizer and elevator. On top of it, we have the logo illumination lights. We have the vertical stabilizer and the rudder bearing the Anisian marking, which I will come back to. Behind you have the APU or the auxiliary power unit and the white navigation and strobe light. Now over to the starboard side or the right side. It's almost identical with the difference being the probes. We have the right angle of attack probe in the top, the right pitot probe in the middle and the bottom. Um, and at the bottom we have the center pitot probe and the oxygen pressure relief discharge valve. The forward bulkhead cargo door with the control panel and light and the aft bulkhead cargo door with the control panel and light for the wide loaders to accommodate the palletized boxes. The green navigation light on the wingtips and the rest is identical as on the port side or the left side. On the front we have the windscreen wipers and the dome housing for the weather radar. On top we have the flight deck emergency crew escape hatch for the pilots various antennae for navigation communication and the rotating beacon or the anti-collision light. All eight doors serve as the emergency exit for the passengers and are equipped with e evacuation slides for faster egress. Below the aircraft near the nose we have a forward access door, ice detector probes, nose gear bay doors, the nose gear strut itself with taxi lights and the extension door bearing the last two letters of the registration for identification Zulu Charlie or ZC. We have the ground power receptacle door on the left and the forward electronics access panel door on the right. Moving to the back we can see the CAC or the cabin air compressor inlet with an FOD or foreign object debris deflector on either side. Besides that, we can see the ram air inlet. This big hole is a stand support for the model which is not present on the actual aircraft. The rotating beacon and the main undercarriage bay doors. We have the ram air turbine door here. We have the fuel filler nozzle, the fuel tank access panel, fuel vents and frame arrester and the registration under the left wing and the similar setup on and the similar setup underneath the right wing as well we can also see the various drains ports vents and access panels on the engine a couple more antenna and finally the quite hard to see apu service access door below the tail cone now as promised i'm going to tell you the significance of the air new zealand livery this plant what you see is called the silver fern and is an indigenous species to new zealand and is also the unofficial national tree of New Zealand and is a commonly used symbol used around the nation. On the tail, that is the front of the silver fern before it unfurls itself. It's called a koru in Maori, which translates to coil or loop and is also an integral part of Maori art or tattooing. It symbolizes new life, growth, strength and peace. But some sources say that it also represents a mango pare which means hammerhead shark. So the koru or mango pare on the tail and the silver fern on the aft fuselage. Whew, I need a break. So there you go, a detailed breakdown of this Anusian 787-9. You know what to do guys, I'll see you soon.